Hey you guys, welcome back. My name is Liz. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about my hygiene routine. And you guys are probably like, what, what does that even mean? Like soap? Uh, no, I have like 20 products today um, because I do get a little extra. This is not on a daily basis where I'm using all of these, but this is, you know, if I am going the full load, like if I'm, you know, getting ready for an important day or date or, you know, just really trying to do some self-care, these are all the products that I'm using. And what makes it even better is that they are all very affordable. These are all things you can find at Target or Walmart or Amazon at the very least. Um, you know, we're washing our body on a daily basis, so we're not trying to break the bank doing it. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. I am gonna go in order of how I use these products. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos about lifestyle, entrepreneurship, finances, um, being in your 20s, that's kind of what I cover here on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more, but let's get into the video. So I'm gonna kind of go in order of how I apply all of these products. So um, first, I am starting with removing this whole face of makeup. And how I do that is I start out with coconut oil. Um, I like to get a cold pressed coconut oil. Uh, this is just one I have right now. It's from TJ Maxx. Um, I find coconut oil is kind of expensive at Walmart and Target so I get it at TJ Maxx and it's a little cheaper um, but the cold press kind is really important to get because um, it disintegrates and melts on your face a lot better but I just use this as an eye makeup remover um, it takes off all of this eye makeup really quickly I used to use the Neutrogena bottle but I found that um, this works a lot better and it's natural how I take off my eye makeup remover is I actually like dip my finger in the coconut oil and I just massage it and then I massage it up and then I wipe it away with a washcloth. I am not using like a cotton round, I'm doing it very gently, so that's another tip. Okay, after I've taken off my eye makeup remover, I gotta take off my face makeup. Um, so I use Pond's Cold Cream. It's like one of those original things that your grandma probably had, but it works really well. You just take a dollop of it and just rub it all over your face. It disintegrates all of your makeup. Then I just use that same washcloth and I'll wipe everything away. Um, I am a big lover of washcloths, so that's what I use for everything. I, I don't really use um, like cotton pads or anything like that. Okay, so now that we've removed all of our makeup, you still have to wash your face because there might be a little makeup left. Um, I just use good old Cetaphil. Um, I used to never really like this. I didn't feel like it did anything, but it's not a makeup remover. This is not gonna take off your makeup, this is just gonna cleanse your skin. So you have to take off your makeup before and then use this, and it's really gentle, it works really well, and it's dermatologist recommended, and so I'm all for it. I use a lot of Cetaphil. Okay, so now that I have a bare face, my face is clean, I usually go in and brush my teeth, and I have the secret concoction for not only brighter teeth, but cleaner teeth, like you will not feel a single speck of plaque after you do this. I swear it is the best way to go. I do it every night and my mouth is just, it's improved so much. I have not gotten um, a single cavity since this. So what I do is I will dip my toothbrush in my coconut oil, then I will dip it in my baking soda. So you know, you get the baking soda residue and then I'll put my toothpaste over it and then I'll brush my teeth. And baking soda tastes kind of like tart, you know? So the coconut oil helps make it really like creamy and like like sweeter tasting. So I don't mind the flavor at all. And it's just made my teeth a lot whiter and it takes off literally any inch of plaque, any speck of plaque. Like your teeth just feel like very clean. So I highly recommend trying this out if you guys have these at your house, most people do. Um, it, is, it is a game changer. Okay, so I have my face clean, my teeth clean, now I'm gonna hop in the shower. And so what I like to do, um, before I jump into like my perfumey soaps and stuff like that, I like to like strip my body of any dirt and oil. And I find that the best thing to use is this very simple, basic type of soap. Um, it's called Hispano. You probably can't see that very well. Um, but it is just a regular like bar of soap. This is just a very simple, multi-purpose soap that you can use for your laundry, you can use for your face or body. Um, it's very basic and simple ingredients, so that's why I like to use it. And um, I'm not, I mean like the scent is very like natural and basic. Um, it's not 
a scent that you would really pick up, but it just cleans your body so well. So I especially use this in regions where I sweat. So my armpits, just to kind of cleanse everything, um, under the boobs, um, feet, places like that, but I kind of just do my whole body with this before I go in with anything. So after I've stripped my body of any dirts and oils, now I will go in with like my nice fragrancy soaps. I feel like it's better to do this step in between so that you're not just putting like fragrance over dirt, you know? Um, so then I like to go in with another bar of soap or I'll just go in with some liquid soap. Um, I use like a simple bar of soap like this. This is just Dove. I also like the Caress Daily Silk. I feel like that smells really nice. Um, I switch that out. It doesn't really matter. Just something that like leaves a nice fragrance. Okay, so now that we've used our fragrance soap, then this is the time where I usually um, do any shaving I need to do. And then I also pumice my feet um, about like once or twice a week. And then um, next you obviously want to clean your lady parts. Um, just regular warm water is the best way to go. Um, if it's your time of the month or um, you have something special planned later that night, um, I like to go in with this Hispanic uh, feminine wash. It's called Limisol and it is a peach balanced hypoallergenic soap. Um, it doesn't really smell like anything, which is good. You don't want to be putting a bunch of different random scents down there. Um, but the thing I really like about it is it's, imagine Listerine on your lady parts. <laughs> it, that's what it feels like. It kind of gets cold and tingly, um, which is weird at first, but you will really like it. Yeah, I think you will. <laughs> um, but it's, it's been around forever. I discovered this um, quite a while ago and I I really like it. I don't recommend using a, just a regular bar of soap down there, um, especially if you're really sensitive, but like you shouldn't in general. You should invest in a feminine wash that is pH balanced. So um, I really like this. I got this on Amazon. And then now that we've finished cleansing our body and everything, now you just wanna make sure you towel dry. And then there are a few other steps that I like to do to make sure you're smelling extra fresh. So first of all, once you are towel dried, um, I like to just go in with like a body spray. Um, body sprays have alcohol in them, so um, they last on your skin a lot longer. Um, so I, I like good old Walmart, honestly. I have bought this like five times. You can't see it because it's cut off right where um, it's called Body Ecology and it's called Truly Yours. It smells so good. Um, I just spray this on my naked body and I really like to hit it on my back because I feel like that's somewhere I can't wash and I sweat a lot so I, you know, I really hit it back there. <laughs> um, and you know, this is like $3 at Walmart. You can only find it at Walmart by the way. Um, but I really like the scent. Otherwise, you know, good old Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, whatever it might be. Um, and then after that, then I'm going to go in with a lotion. Um, if you are like going on a date, I highly recommend matching because you will smell that much better. Um, but it's totally not necessary. On a daily basis, I save these for special occasions, whether I'm going out, going on a date, whatever it might be. Gotta smell nice. Um, but on a daily basis, I just use this Johnson's Baby Gel. Um, it is... I don't even know what you would call it. It's like an oil gel. That's literally what it's called. Okay. It's an oil gel. Um, I've had this forever. You can find this in the baby section. It smells like cocoa butter. It smells so good. And like if you're taking pictures that night and you want some glossy looking legs, this is your thing. It smells so good and looks so good. And then once you have your body spray and body lotion on, I go in with this Cetaphil. Um, it is just a face moisturizer. It's really gentle and it works, does the trick. I really like it. Um, if you guys were wondering, I have oily skin. Um, so I like to even put on like a thicker oil at night. Sometimes I just lather my face in vi vitamin E oil, but um, for like a daily regular basis, I just use that Cetaphil. Next, one of my favorite new discoveries is this Lady Speed Stick. Um, I honestly have not found a deodorant I absolutely love until now. Um, deodorant, like, it smells great at first, obviously, but like two to three hours in, 
it doesn't smell like BO, but it just smells funky. Like it doesn't smell like it smelled before. It doesn't smell like BO. It smells like something in the middle that's been kind of cooking. Um, so like before I would go in with deodorant every like two or three hours. Um, but this, I have been using this for about two months now and nope, you only need it once a day, maybe twice if you're having a long day. Um, but it's really good. I originally picked it up at, at the dollar store as like a backup deodorant for my car. Um, and then I went and got full sizes at Target because it's that good. This is just the Shower Fresh Lady Speed Stick in Invisible Dry. Um, it does, however, if you reapply, leave kind of clumps. So um, if you're going to reapply, I would make sure you kind of try and wipe off the original stuff and then reapply. And also a perk about this deodorant is it's like the cheapest one at the store. So... Okay. And then the last thing I like to do, obviously we've moisturized our face and body, gotta get the lips now. Um, this is one that I've been loving for like the past year. I've repurchased like 10 of them. I have them everywhere. Um, I think anyone who knows me has seen me apply this. Um, it's the LA Girl Lip Plumper Tinted. Um, it, honestly, Chapstick does not moisturize my lips as well as this does. And it's not, I don't think it's meant to be like a chapstick, but it works so well. Like anytime I apply this, my lips are, you know, like the dead skin is falling off and they're like looking like themselves again. Um, this is tinted, so it does give your lips a beautiful rosy tint. Um, and it is plumping, so um, they do feel a little tingly. So if you are sensitive to that, I wouldn't recommend using this. Um, I like the tingle. One other thing I wanted to mention is I love using this as a gloss over lipstick, but I really like using it on its own. So like if you aren't big into like lipstick and stuff like that, I highly recommend trying this out because it just gives a rosy tint. So I definitely like this. It is cinnamon scented, so if you don't like that, you won't like this. Okay, so next, I know it seems like I've already put a lot of fragrance on my body, but I kind of like to finish it off. I know I sound psycho, um, but like sandwich it in between my moisturizer. So I have two perfume choices that I absolutely love. Uh, one is more affordable and one is higher end. Um, the more affordable one is by Zara and it's called um, Joyful Tuberose. Joyful Tuberose, yeah. Um, it's this pink little bottle. I think they still have it, and it's only, it's like $25, $30, I'm pretty sure. Um, it smells really good, and it lasts pretty long. But the one that I absolutely love and will repurchase till the day I die um, is Chanel Chance. Um, every time I wear this, I get so many compliments on how I smell, and it literally lasts for like three days, especially if you spray it in your hair. Um, it, you know, you will smell it on your pillow until you wash your pillow. Um, like it is that good. And so I highly recommend giving this a chance or if you could like get a tester of it and try it out. I, um, but I really like this one. Um, everyone who comes in my house sprays it and it bugs the shit out of me because it's expensive. I think it's $120. Um, but it's that good and it's totally worth it and if you want to actually buy this I would recommend buying it um, like during Ulta's 20% off sale days or Sephora whatever it might be because that's the only time that this will go on sale so after perfume that is about it then I'll get into my clothes I just wanted to add in a few additional things that I like to use kind of on a seasonal basis. So in the summer, you know, like if you have a bigger chest or your thighs touch, stuff like that, you know, there's gonna be a lot more sweat and then, you know, just a lot more jiggling in general. So um, what I like to use, I like to use Johnson's baby powder underneath my boobs, like in my stomach crease, um, you know, kind of maybe like around my thighs. Um, I feel like this just helps keep everything from like sweating. Um, I really like it. I just have the lavender scent. And then this also doubles as a dry shampoo. So if you are cheap like me and don't want to buy dry shampoo, because I feel like it's gone after like three uses. I just keep this and then I'll shake a little into my hand, tip over my hair and like pat it in and like shake it in and tap it in, you know. Um, it works just like a dry shampoo. Uh, like dry shampoos are just essentially um, cornstarch, which I believe is this, right? Yeah, cornstarch. And then also if your legs do touch in the summer, which, you know, mine definitely do. And I've had those times where 
I'm wearing shorts or I'm wearing a dress and I'm walking like a few miles and my legs are just raw. Like you could start a fire in between those legs. They are so hot. Um, Chafing Relief by Monistat. It, it's like a silicone gel, so kind of like a primer that you use on your skin. Um, this just goes in between your legs, like right where your thighs are. Um, and then it helps protect against chafing. It's amazing. I keep it in my purse, especially when I know I'm gonna be walking and I don't have like leggings or jeans on. Another thing I wanted to recommend that also goes with hygiene is like hair hygiene. Um, I definitely have smelt some burnt hair and I've had like burnt smelling hair a few times before. Um, so one thing I would like to recommend is that you are cleaning the blades of your flat iron, your curling iron, because that's what makes your hair smell burnt. It's that built up residue. So make sure you are cleaning that really good and getting all that residue off of your blades of your hot tools before you use it. And that will eliminate the smell of burnt hair. And then the last product I wanted to mention, I feel like is an essential. Um, whether you are gonna go meet up with your boo later, or you just have a really long day ahead of you, you're going to the gym, um, or you just have to like shit in general, um, these cleansing cloths for your lady goods. Um, you can just throw a few in your purse. Um, they come in a 16 pack like this. I really like this um, because they're convenient and um, sometimes you just gotta like wipe up, you know? Um, so I really like these and I think they are essential for year round. All right, you guys, I know that was like 20 to 30 products. Um, I promise I'm not that extra on a daily basis. If anything, it's soap and you know, some spray. But um, these are things I wanted to share with you. They are all very affordable. So if you found any of them really interesting and wanna give them a try, it's not gonna break your bank and I promise you will love them. So um, definitely let me know if you try any of these products and like them. Other than that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in next week's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.